Hello everyone, it's Red Fury, and today we are back finally for a new episode of the Let's Play. I took a while to upload these last couple of videos because I joined a Minecraft creative team and we've been working on a lot of projects. You may have seen some on MCPDL, for instance, one of them is the grapple gun and the other one is the portal gun. And then we also have a TNT cannon add-on out right now. We're working on a whole bunch of cool projects and I'll put a link to our Discord in the description below. But let's get into it. So while I was gone, I've been messing around with my world when I was free and I got a lot of stuff done. We are on 1.14 and my FPS is really low because of the bees and chickens. I made an automatic chicken farm and I may have put a lot of eggs in there to the point where it's almost constantly firing eggs. But we have a huge amount of food now and also worked on this area made this cool little underpass. Ouch. So under here I was making a artificial cave which is turning out pretty well. I pretty much covered this area completely. This is mostly terraform terrain I made over here. For the water I made a small little farm with some wheat and carrots and then the animal pen. Uh, I finally got a chance to work on my nether area. I still haven't built anything in there really. I got a bunch more diamonds and enchanted two picks. And then over here we got our automatic sugarcane farm and it's, you know, okay. It gets the job done. But the really cool stuff is over here. So, I built this cool bridge sort of system connecting the hard to reach areas and then down there I'll get to that soon. So, I did this all yesterday, this bridge system and whatnot, and I also did this with the new honey block. Since it works pretty well, I would try to ride it, but the thing is, every time I do I get knocked off still, which is really annoying even though you technically should be able to stand on this and have it go. But the cool thing is, with this system, you can send it in two ways just by switching the side you put the redstone block on and you can transport stuff for instance like if I put that in there and it will carry it away to the other side and if we go over here so you see I also put these maps down because I was going to be finishing the maps but the maps will map out the base area and then if we go here I've worked on the library a lot still haven't got the cooler back area down but for now I just put up this area with the enchanting table and was filling in the floor I did manage to actually get some work done on the village as well so in the village, I finally got a chance to work on the, what the heck. I got to work on the blacksmith's house, and yeah, I actually should probably huh, put a torch. But yeah, it's pretty cool looking so far. Just a simple sort of roof too. But it's all coming together pretty nicely. And you see, 47, near 50 FPS when we're not near all the mobs over there. But, we gotta go back. Oh, it made it. What was that? Oh. Hmm. Okay. So, you see, it keeps the items. You could transport it. Pretty cool. And then... If we look, I put this staircase because it's real annoying having to go over there to get up. But, made these cool support pillars. I started here with this one, built the circle, and then branched it off in the directions I wanted to use. And I've been trying to light up the area in a sort of unified map system. It, where, where is it? 
There we go. But then, we have my super smelter. We have blast furnace in the side. Have a crafting table down here. We have our collection chest. Fuel goes into each one, so it goes into each, you know, piece. And then we have the area you put what you want to smelt. Also, this chicken farm's been doing like insanely well. Insanely well. Also, the bees, man, the bees. It's really annoying trying to figure out how to get less bees so it doesn't lag, but also try to keep enough to get a nice steady stream of honey. And in the mine, did some pretty impressive work. If we go down here, you can see that I managed to get a lot of stuff done down here. Like, for instance, I started mining in this one. I mined in the lava pit where I get my obsidian from. I started to bridge out that way, but also I went really far. Really far down. But, that's it for now. Also, oops. Okay, let's put some stuff away. Okay, also, since the skin creator came out, I switched my skin to the skin I made in the creator so I could use it on all my devices, and this is my new YouTube skin as well. I still have my classic skin, but this is the one you'll be seeing a lot more. I really like how it came out. Also, I only spent like a few of my old leftover mine coins and got this jacket and pants just for the design. But also, we got capes! Capes! Look, look at this. Capes! I really wish that they had put the uh, older skin pack, you know, capes in there. Because I have, if I remember correctly, the capes from 2016? Yeah. But, I can't use the capes. And I really wanted to use, like, the Enderman cape. Or the pickaxe cape, but I can't. But, you know, still got this cape, and it works on Elytras as well. So, that's pretty cool. Also made a cool little creepy skin, just because I somehow managed to have the nether jacket. So, yeah. Also, one thing that bugs me is the beta, because so much stuff just overemphasizing that you're in the beta. But, let's get to it. So, I wanted to sort of explore, but I'm not sure if I wanted to explore the overworld or the nether. Because, I want to find a village with a lot more villagers in it. But then again, I don't want to get lost because there was stuff I wanted to do here still without losing anything. Dude, that's too many creepers in there. Okay. Grab that. Also probably should put the armor back on. Okay. So what I think I'll probably do is end up going this direction. Because I don't think I've actually explored this direction. Okay. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna check this area. Just in case.
So. There we go. Just in case. Let's see what we can find. Whoa. Pretty nice scenery around here. I'm gonna cut the video to when I find something. Okay guys, so I couldn't really find anything, so I was on my way back, but I wanted to check this area first. So let's see what we can find. Okay, let's see. Okay. I really would love to find like a desert or something. A desert would be interesting. Hey, beehive. This is pretty sweet. We found some natural beehives. I wonder though. Let's see. Okay, let's see what we could do here. So, I really don't know if I should do this because there's a high likelihood that I'll get stuck a whole bunch. Oh! Nice! It worked that time. I've tried this before and they still came and attacked me. Don't fly in front of me. I don't need the wool, really? Really? Come on. Okay, let's see. I wonder what's over here. Nothing. Really. Screw it. Okay, no bees attacking me. I will take this sugar game. So, I'm really wondering why is my map almost just all like, you know, plains and mountain. It's plains, spruce, and mountain, and occasionally some dark oak forest bits sprinkled into the plains. It's sort of bugging me. Like, is there an issue with my world game or something? Because it just seems like I just non-stop find the same biome repeated. Is that a swamp? Okay. Weird cow aside. Oh, okay. Found a swamp. I mean, I guess this is interesting. Sort of. It's just like a muddy plains biome, though. Let's see what we can find in here, guys. Ah, uh, I hear the phantoms. Okay, we got the main threat down. Okay. Let's see what we can find here. I'm pretty sure my base is straight that way, pretty much. Ouch, okay.
Whoa, what was that? Oh. Okay. So I'm not seeing anything interesting at all over here. It's just trees. I just need to find a village. Ow. Fudge. Okay. Let's see. Hey, actually, I'm gonna back up. Okay, this is weird. That was weird. Okay. Nice. Okay. So let's see what we can find. Uh, it's weird. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can find. Cause it doesn't seem like we're finding much, to be honest. Wait! Oh, guys, we found- Okay, this is it. Uh, okay, we found a pillager outpost. Okay. Okay, that's enough. Okay, everyone, did you guys just see that? Those, they, they just spawned in. What the heck? That is hella annoying. Just come on. Yeah, no. Okay. Okay, there we go. Kill this dude. Actually, no, just sprint past them because they are way outnumbering me. Oh. I totally didn't realize that. Oh, and a creeper. Oh man. Okay, let's see. Just gonna. Okay. Maybe we can make it up without dying. Crap. Crap. Okay, where are these skeletons coming from? Man? Nope. Oh, how the hell did that get like that? Uh, what? Sweet. 
Okay, let's keep track of it. We might find something nice over here. Okay. Let's see what we can find then. I just realized I didn't bring the saddle. No! Nope! Come on! Okay, keep running. Oh! Oh no! Ha! Ha! There we go! Finally! Okay, That was interesting, just a pillager outpost, but I thought they usually spawn closer to, like, you know, a village. But I guess not. Well, crap, couldn't find any. Oops. Oops. Base is this one. Oh, 
Wait, hold on. Nope. Nope. Well, crap. Okay, we're back at the base. Okay. We made it back. Well, crap. I gotta find a village, man. <sighs> what I will do, though, is with these. Over there. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Okay, yeah. That's all my time for today, guys. That's all my time for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.